right, peeps, welcome back to Snail TV. I'm just gonna go over a quick um, thing on uh, this BMW. Uh, this is a mate, uh, Jared's car. Um, I'm doing a full, pretty much, rebuild on that. I've, I've looked it over on the channel before. Um, I've had a few too many people inquiring about it, so I just wanna go through it, what I'm doing with it, and um, how crazy we're going gonna, gonna go with it. Uh, this is a drift build. It's an E30 BMW. It does have an RB25 in it, Neo. Um, so it comes out of a stage here. Um, I'll go through it. I'll show some crazy stuff that I'm doing to it. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Let's have a look. All right, peeps. So this is the crazy stuff that we're going to be doing to it. All right, so we have a full, pretty much, not tube front, but, you know, drift spec front. Um... Just starting to mount up, mock up intercooler at the moment. Um, I've got engine and transmission in place. I don't want to open that up right now because I'm going to show you something pretty crazy in a second. All right, coming over into the boot, um, we've got uh, everything's all cut out. All right, so we have new fuel cell that's all custom made. Um, a couple of uh, Raceworks uh, 044 fuel pumps in there. Um, with the hangers and uh, all fittings ready to go and um, We'll be bolted onto uh, the panel there um, It looks pretty sweet underneath I think I've showed you guys before everything looks pretty sweet now now he's come to me with um, A drift build but not knowing um, of Like sort of what he wants um, but we really want to push our, I guess, abilities uh, of a drift build. I've never done a drift build before. So, yeah, we want to do some crazy stuff. So, you can kind of see what I'm sort of planning here. All right, twin three inch exhaust outlet. Okay, shuts perfectly, all mounted up. All right, all standard still. All right, the lines before it here, the two lines, they're for the radiator. So they're a dash uh, 16 line. All right, so dash 16 lines there. Uh, we need to recess them in just a little bit for that bottom one, but that top and bottom be fine, no worries. All right, so dash 16 in and out, doesn't matter what one we use. And they run underneath the car. Yep, right there, all right, coming out of the car. Okay, and then they'll come up on this side here. And then they'll, uh, yeah, we'll show what we can, uh, what we've got there. So uh, radiator's actually gonna get mounted right here. Um, I'm either going to go between um, twin radiators or a single one. I'll see what we can find. All right. Um, and obviously everything else is all mounted sweet. So there's a plate actually mounting the exhaust as well. So that's straight off the turbo, three inch straight off the turbo. Coming in here. It's probably a bit too dark, guys. But as you can see, there's plated. All right. Straight on it. Um, bolted to it. Same thing with um, this one here, plated straight to it. Okay, coming down, that's plated there. Um, and it's plated at the back there for these lines. So nothing rattles. Um, this, the exhaust is all gonna be 100% um, heat wrapped. The whole thing. Dog is impressed. All right, and as I said, everything clears perfect. All right. So, pretty happy with how it's, how it's come out. Tell me. So I've always wanted to do a door exit. Um, I've seen it years ago on a, uh, on a rally car or so. But um, yeah, I didn't obviously have the car to do it. I wanted to do it on one of my cars, but um, I'll uh, do a customer's car instead. So, uh, he loves it, my mate loves it. Uh, we, I only had a single, and he really wanted twin. So that's what we've only up, uh, gone opted for. 
Um, but yeah, so, so far guys, it's looking good. So we've got a few more things that we need to do to it. Um, and obviously I've got to fill up in the firewall, but engine and transmission. So I've got transmission mount all done as well. Um, oh, well, plate's all done. So that's all done up and, um, yeah, engine's, engine's sitting a lot straighter now. So the engine was on a, uh, a massive tilt before. So we've got, uh, engine mounted in line with the car now. And um, yeah, just mocking up all the intercooler pipes, um, and uh, yeah, all hard lined, of course, guys. So solid mounted, solid mounted. All right. So that's just how I like to do my builds. Um, I don't like couplings. These are a big no-no for me. I don't like this stuff. All right. Um, we all do V bands around here, and um, keep it all uh, all hard lined, and just looks so nice and so clean on a build. So we've got a few other things that we need to do. We need to do some dash fittings. Obviously, these are the two ports that we've got. So I, I need to take the plenum off to do a dash 16 here. And also a dash 16 on um, the thermostat housing on uh, the block there. And those two lines will run around, run around, and actually go into those backs there. Um, then obviously they hard line to the back and flexi out from there to um, the radiator at the back. So that's what we've got at the moment. So uh, I've just done a bit of work on this on during the week as well. Um, I'm waiting on a few parts on this as well, but customer has sort of just, yeah, let me sort of take in charge of the build on this thing. Um, but yeah, so they're the craziest stuff that obviously we do at Snail TV. And um, yeah, I, I think it's looking pretty sweet. All right, guys, so I just really want to take you up over to the Camaro build here. Um, just a quick little go over and to see what we've actually done. Um, I've got engine mounted, 100% engine mounts, 100% guys. All right, transmission mount is looking sweet. And also, as you can see from the front, we have some sweet looking brackets there holding the turbos up. Um, so from the front, that's what you're going to pretty much see. Obviously we haven't clocked them 100% yet to go exactly, but you know, they're there. You know they're there. Alright. So they're going to be clocked up a little bit more at the moment. And they're going to come over here. This one here is going to be clocked up the other way. But yeah, that's pretty much what we're going for. And um, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, peeps, I uh, got more work done on uh, the E30. So, sorry about the noise in the background. Our air conditioner is on, a uh, bit of a hot day today. So, we're just getting some few more things done. I'll uh, take you through what we've actually, more we've got done now. So, we've got all the intercooler pipes all done. Uh, they're all hard lined, three and a half inch that side, V-band, and three inch this side, uh, straight on to turbo. So, uh, I haven't made any um, stay brackets up yet. Uh, make them up a bit last after we get the bumper bar put on. Uh, so injectors are all on. Um, done a few things down here. Uh, welded on some dash 16s. They're the do dash 16s that are going to run to the other side over there, guys. Um, blanked off the water cooler on the oil, and also blanked off um, the port for the um, idle idle control valve there. Uh, fuel tech control that pretty well, so no point of even having it. It's a drift car, it's gonna get hot. It doesn't start up every day, it's just no point. It's just extra wiring and it looks messy and yeah, so. Um, yeah, so got all that done under the bonnet as well, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I wanna try something that's pretty sweet with the breathers. I've got a really good idea of that. And I'll take you through to inside the car. Obviously, you guys have seen the exhaust and the other stuff, but I've just finished up the dash. So, dash has come up pretty well. Um, I've actually welded it in there. Um, it's not like the one in the roll race of where it actually comes out. I've had to weld this one in there. It's just too much. It's just too much bends into it. So, I'll actually, uh, I'll actually cover it when it's in here, which is, that's no worries at all, guys. I can just fold it up under and, um, yeah, and do it like that. So... What I was up to now, uh, just was to do the firewall. So I've just got to um, 
just going to make up a couple of things now quickly just for now because i'm going to get a couple of things done of my own tonight so while all the steel's out all everything's getting cut up i'll quickly cut up a couple of pieces there up ready for to go for the firewall so can stitch them in tomorrow sometime probably and yeah we'll go from there so pretty happy with how everything has gone um as i said the injectors are in and all fuel systems are looking pretty sweet so you've got to get a fuel pressure rig um and um obviously then lines straight to the back to the pumps guys uh you guys seen the pumps in the back and so two 044, 044s they will come in all right so we've only got a uh in and a return we have got a return here so that's awesome um so we can go in and in and return off the center here so that's awesome um yeah and that'll be fine so that's just all lines and fittings so that's no problem but really happy with it so far guys um uh, my mate uh, really wanted hard lines he doesn't like the flex couplers anymore so and we kept it as short as possible we had to v out a little bit just here because this is actually only a three inch intercooler um and that's a three inch three and a half inch uh pipe so it looks fine though i'm really happy with it so yeah everything still works nice and as i said just a single v-band there to connect to the turbo guys so just an elbow welded straight off the turbo um and yeah so got a got an oil line still to do um on this side um a couple of tiny little things still left in the engine bay but everything's looking pretty sweet so yeah pretty happy with how everything's going on this build um got still got a lot of parts coming for the camaro over there but thought i would uh yeah show you what's going on here i'm not showing you any build on these cars because i just want to smash it out they're for mates all right so these ain't uh snail tv projects they're just for mates and uh yeah and as so customers so um i just really want to get them done and finished that's all obviously they want their cars as well so yeah really happy guys so quick look so yeah nice looking rb25 guys um everything yeah starts to look pretty sweet it'd be sweet once all the firewall's done and the rest of it so still got a brake cylinder a brake master sorry to go and a couple other things as well like that so the list is all coming off pretty quick and yeah so sweet so yeah guys so obviously thanks guys for liking and subscribing this is just a quick update on these cars just to give you guys a heads up uh got a heap of stuff should be on the camaro next week so i will give you a big rundown on the camaro next week and uh of what we're doing and what we've worked out so we've got some sweet stuff happening on that thing um and yeah and everything else has gone really well so obviously yeah thanks guys for like subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video see you peeps